Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Playboy here once again. Hold on. I think we're already in the game. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Pardon the interruption. Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent. The sweetness of her breath. Serena. Okay. Okay. So this game's name is Serena, matter of fact. I'm loving the ambience already. It's eerie as hell. But I'm not quite sure. Her photo is right there. Maybe I could have another look. Alright. You've probably been looking at her about 32 times today, buddy. She's not coming back. The story is about a man's wife named Serena who suddenly disappears. Serena? Why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? I'm handsome, though. This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors, laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple. The guy who snapped this, our oh, host oh, okay. that night, back down. used Didn't an actual film camera. Discuss a memory about a his wife and the then. picture. So this game, just to start off from the back, for the viewers to know that it is more of an interactive story. There will be little gameplay, but if you have time to spare and would like to sit down and indulge in a heart-wrenching story with a rather horrific and eerie story sense, I'm just getting a tingled vibe. My toes is curling, and my words is wanting to blurb over first. My tongue's slipping, and I'm seeing hands and shit, and there's talks in the doors. I forgot to change my socks today. <laughs> See, it does that kind of does that stuff to a kind of man. So we're gonna proceed here. Uh, we're gonna point and click before I'll discuss the game after. Let's go this way. Can we? Oh, I can. I can travel around the house. Now I'm supposed to look for clues here. This is a little different here. What's this? A weird picture of, uh... I still can't understand. Even the features of her face feel hazy and distant, like remnants of a broken dream. That's supposed to be her, man? We, uh, uh, well... I don't know why you're so obsessed with this girl. She hasn't looked pretty thus far. I mean... I mean, did you see the first two photos? What's over here? What's over here? What is over here? This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? Yeah, sure. Wow, yeah, sure. Priorities. I guess it's covered with grease and grime from cooking, mostly. There's probably nothing out there that I want to see, anyway. All right, all right, I get it. All the it. stuff I care about is inside. Everything we well, care about is inside. Except let's for go Serena. right to the bedroom. All right, man. It's depressing. How long has she been missing? I I get it. Let's let's go right to her belongings. Oh, my chest slightly vibrated from a background ticking in my ear. The eeriness keys. These keys are for the cabin and the car. Cabin and the car, which means they're still here. She has not taken the car. Correct. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? Does she have a spare? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? Exactly. That's what I'm we saying. We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. Uh, I'm getting uh, I'm getting a different vibe, buddy. What's we did have again? a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse, but we rarely lock it anyway. Okay, should I keep listening? Will it unravel more? I've never of noticed story? it before, but there's some rust on the ring. No, uh, he should get a new just one. Go on about it. Anything else in the drawer? What's up here? Nothing. Commune evidence. 
Serena's favorite perfume. All right, man, I'm pulling kids to lady perfume What's in the drawers. Ooh, a no. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusions shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. So touching. I'm Somewhere about to shed a tear. In private refuge. There must be something that reminds me of her. Yeah, that note. She just wrote you a lovely note about a lovely memory one would want to share with anyone's lover. You can't bypass that. No. No. Really? Nothing close? Nothing close? Uh, jeez. Oh. I miss her so much. How is it possible that I can't remember her face? So we're having a problem here, we can't remember her face. There's coins, a watch, does it even work? I'm not seeing anything. Uh, why did you leave me? That's all I want to know. I'm digging through your possessions as if they were my own. I have to remember her face. Her face? They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. I'm generally not fond of taking medication. I find it hard to believe ingesting a few chemicals will do me much good in the long run. Okay, so he's on Don't forget your pill, hun. I know you'd rather not, but you know it's for the best. And his lady knows he's off his own rocker. Beta blockers. I have high blood pressure. I get it. I get it. Let's get out of here. We're gonna have to find something to remember. To remind us of her face. What's in here? Magazine. A ooh, boobtastic interview with Morgan Valnor. I'm terrified of dolphins. Oh, is that a oh? This game is uh uh. I can't. Oh shit. Fuck. I mean, oh, I'm gonna censor everything. That's all censored. This is a very long playthrough. I'm just putting it back. That looks interesting. You can always try it. Wait. Okay. On a real note, this is a real man in a real relationship, so we're gonna have to be real mature about it. I just felt bad because I wanted to draw all the viewers, but obviously it's going to be a little more mature than the younger viewers, but that is, that is okay. This is just a consent a warning. It's a little late. I just, instant warning. Uh, should I keep, should I keep listening? I read it for the articles, of course. Of course you like do. Like that one by... The guy. That one about the... thing. Yeah, you knew the whole story, didn't you? I needed some incentive to go check the mailbox from time to time. It's some way through the woods. I'm not going through the woods. The volume is 666. Does anybody think that's weird? Because I do. Let's get out of here. Uh, let's... See. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. He's a romantic. Look at the... Bad. That's beautiful how that's laid out. That's that's a well unrustled, slightly rather made in the morning bed. Perfect. They got a dream catcher. Sometimes above them. we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was. Far out. Oh. 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 Be smooth. The furniture came with the cabin, but the bed clothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury. But without her, what luxury you got. she adored all things of nature. I remember Is her long that? walks oh, out flowers. in the woods. 
Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside. I guess we were saturated by them. At least I was. And he's very, very lonely. She's fairly religious. Not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. <laughs> we're a cold and cynical bastard, ladies and gentlemen. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. <sighs> God, how I miss her. <laughs> no longer the cynical asshole, I guess. Ha ha ha, the irony. Yeah. It's her got faith game was a surprise to me. She was never prudish about sex, so I just didn't expect it. I guess people simply aren't that predictable. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly yep. Spartan needs. She uses most of it. I don't want to talk about your private issues, man. I'm sorry for you. We all have our skeletons in the closet, but not Serena. She was perfect. Perfect woman, I'm you said. I'm not sure why, but I don't feel like opening it. The sole thought of it drains what little energy I have left in me. Whoa, that's deep. Maybe later. There's all nothing right. of interest inside the closet anyway. You want to bring it all the way down there? That deep, huh? There's a chest. What's over here? What is this? Come love with peace in your heart, said Naim of the ice blue eyes. Ride with me. Shed your mortal guise. Here is our mount, a snow white mare. Come, Owison, to my gardens fair. In the land of youth, ply your art. Ours shall be the cycle of days, ours sun and sky and rainbow ways. Alright, so they have a lovely little poem here. Definitely about love if one can't tell. So this is an eerie love story. Something Can I open draws this? me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? I don't know. Can we we use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance inside. And let's go. It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. Not yet? What, man? What? This is a little cabin, so at least there's not too much to explore, but I have no idea. Uh, he didn't want to look at a couple things over there. Did I even take out the clock? No. Maybe that's a severe... T Maybe that's a... Uh, Maybe that's something I really need to do. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to every cabin needs one. Doesn't sound the ticking too begins to feel homey after a while. The first night was a nightmare, though. I agree. Hate them fucking stupid clocks. Time never mattered much to us while we were hiding from the rest of the world here. As long as we were together and happy. Amen, baby. He is smooth and what a romantic. Ah, oh, my heart is melting. My heart, he's swaying me with words. Can I go outside? No, I don't want to leave right now. There's still something for me in here. What are we, what? We're looking for a clue to leave? Are we leaving the cabin at all? I have no idea where to go. So many afternoons spent in this armchair. I can make out nothing through this window. Then let's go get some dishwater and clean that sheet up. Where's the sink? Where's the sink? The furniture came with the cabin. Oh. Considering how off the beaten path, sharing meals with a good red wine was one of the great pleasures in our relationship, especially in the intimacy of this cabin. True, it is very private and bad breakfast day. Uh, I do anything. We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. Hmm. Let's check the bookcase. Blinders. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. I'm not seeing anything. Are you My guys life would have been dark. much poorer without all this. Searching for a dynasty. I hear Smell more of the of outside, it's rather eerie. It's intoxicating. Uh, what happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. Common sense and other lovely fairy tales. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. 
as it is right now. Zombie space dinosaurs from the deep ate my family. That's intense novel. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. Well, I love that title. Diary in America. Horton hears some unpleasant truths about A lot himself. of rarities and special editions here. What one are we looking for? I didn't look. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. Nothing? A lot of rarities and special editions here. All right. Nothing in the bookcase. I see nothing but cobwebs on the ceiling. Oh, I inspected that. I'm missing something. I looked at that picture. It won't let me look out the window. What's up here? What is this? Ugh. I have no idea what that- let's take another look. That is a weird picture, I must say. I do not like it, it's disturbing. You can make of it how you want, but... Uh, what's this one say? True friends stand by each other through any adversity, and then we have this very- I better wide. stay, in, in case Serena comes back. Why, how homey is that? Where do I go? What do this I do? This one wobbles. I always meant to do something about that, but... Somehow, never got around to it. She made this with her own hands. Mm -hmm. She was really good. Look what I made, hun. In case we ever need to sweep something under the carpet. Look under the carpet. See the pattern of yellow squares? It's from this rug I remembered from my nursery. I must have been like three or four, but it always stuck with me. I'm getting chingles down my spine. Let's. Oh. No trap door under there. Just more no, creaky come floor. On, no, 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 we're onto something. Let's go. I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. Tidy up, sweep, find something, go. The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten it out? Yeah, of course. And no trap door under there. Just more creaky floor. What the? I can go down? I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it The rug's all crooked again. Can you help me straighten it out? And no trap door under oh, there. Come Just on. more creaky floor. No. There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. I feel too restless to sleep right now. I don't know where to go, my friend. We missed something. We missed something in this small... Cabin, where sh is it? I figured the most in we're looking for an intimate item would be within the bedroom. Let me. Come on. For some reason, light bulbs wouldn't last long in this lamp. I never looked into it. Do it now. Two days, three days tops, and bam, a brand new light bulb would burn out. Crazy. She used to keep. Magazines, paperback novels, usual stuff on these nightstands when we were staying here. Okay. Whenever her lamp didn't work, Serena would come by my side to read. A few moments later, she would lay her head down on my chest and fall asleep. A romance. Heartwarming, isn't it, for the viewers? The only reason this lampshade gathered <sighs> less dust than the other one was that we had to keep putting new bulbs in this one. Because of a wiring problem, or whatever, this one always starts smelling sharply of metal after being on for a while. Considering what a strong odor of metal this one gives off when in use, I guess we were lucky never to have an accident. Sure, there's drawers here. How did I miss that? <gasps> Shit. Can't click too far. Close the drawer. Oh, open up the first drawer. Can we? Yup. I see nothing. Close it. That's very loud. Anything in here? More clothes. They look rather plain to me. Uh, correct. Nothing in here. Pants. Bunch of shirts. Me going off the screen again. Close it. Uh, the lamp. Good night, love. Oh, good night, baby. The only reason this lampshade gathered less dust than the other one was that we had to keep putting new bulbs in this one. I have no idea where we're going. No idea what I'm looking for. Uh, can I look out that window? It's a beautiful day. 
though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. Can't see shit. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left until it gets dark. The sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. There's a crack in this window from a tantrum she threw some time ago. It wasn't the only thing she threw. Not exactly perfect soundproofing. Uh -oh. Sunlight can be confusing. Oppressive, as if pregnant with some ill omen. Or is the stress finally catching up with me? The sunlight is so bright here. Okay. In other circumstances, uh, this would have been the perfect behind. afternoon for us. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Bet she wasn't blonde. Yes. Blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Oh, oh wait, Did I, I have a stroke? I don't know what happened to you. I'm trying to figure this out. It's, it's, I'm hmm. all confused. Hmm. Uh, yeah. She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. She go? It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket. New enough to still have all its teeth. Did she stopped doing that. She also had a brush. Hers. I used it too when shaving. Mm -hmm. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall to wall mirrors. So, <laughs> this came in handy. Read. Read to the humor, sir. <laughs> Should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. I'm in a detective story. After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. How lovely. The last thing I need now is to see myself in the mirror. I must look awful. You look hideous, you're right. Rather not for the viewers. So, a bl a Pretty shambolic, isn't it? The organization of its contents isn't much better. It'd be a shame to say we're fashionistas. No. You're not fashionistas. I don't think so. I looked in here, my pills for me going off. I'm pressing buttons. Let me out of here, please. Little fidget head first for me to get used to. There's the keys we mentioned. We also have a key for the outhouse. Yeah, which we don't but need right But Kemp, right I've now. always told Serena that she doesn't need to wear perfume. Her presence is magical enough already. Aww. It smells so elegant. There's violet leaf and silk tree blossom, I think. This perfume is perfect for Serena. Why didn't I ever notice? I don't know, you bastard. Neglectful. We were happy for a long time. At least, I think we were. But as time passed, we fought about every little thing. Even this. Indeed. I keep looking at her things, remembering all the good. And bad. Mm. Depends on how you look at it. Either a wonderful sensory stimulant, an aphrodisiac, or a subtle weapon in the mating rituals of Homo sapiens. <laughs> this guy. We were happy for a long time. At least, I think we were. But as time passed, we fought about every little thing. Even this. Okay, can I look at the mirror? No. The mirror, good sir. I guess that counts as the whole thing. Nothing out the window. Inspected the clock. Unlike its sibling, this lamp would last for months. Well, I'm echoing over here. We brought the lamps with us when we got this place all those years ago. They were from a garage sale. So he's talking out loud practically because you're getting the bounce off the walls in the cabin. The sun is streaming through the window. No reason to turn this on. All these metaphors and similes in my head. Light of my life. 
make light. Wait, that's another kind of light. Don't even go in there, buddy. We're trying to keep it. I, d I, f I screwed it up alone. Man, where do we go? Man, I have no clue. Can I open this? I'm yeah. a casual dresser. No need to change clothes right now. Of course you're not. I don't sleep well without s There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. Something? I feel too restless to sleep right now. Nothing. Ter Terina, just come back to me. Make it all easy. Uh, Willie, let us go in the chest again. Come we on. found this trunk at a flea market. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. We found this trunk at a flea market. All right, I was we used to love rummaging trunk, around those in our early years. Oh, this is a tiny cabin, and I'm just... I'm just, no, just, I'm just, uh struggling. Can I inspect these? No, I can't. Can I inspect this? There's always a chance she might return. True. There's always a chance you're crazy. She left you on with it. Let's just find out if she really did or not. There's nothing for me out there. What'd I just say? Onward then. Or I'm gonna have to name you myself. There was a time, long ago, that all this disrepair felt oddly homey. All the windows are drafty, but like everything else, we just got used to it. We liked it, even. Oh, making use of what you have. I can make out nothing through this window. Oh, I can make out nothing through anything! Is this... Is this picture... Picture is crazy weird. What is this? What are that? I look out there. Come sit with me. Ooh. I want to talk <sighs> and cuddle. Ooh. But but what? What did we talk about? Damn this fallible memory of mine. The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. Hmm. <laughs> I should probably so. eat. Can't remember the last time I ate. Yet, I don't feel hungry. Uh, uh, oh, well, it's not going to prepare it for yourself. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. The table is worn but sturdy. Just like our relationship was. Or is. I just don't know anymore. <gasps> hey, her face is on the picture! My love. Oh. We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. Okay, we see her face now. She's blonde. Big red lips. Blue eyes, it looks like grayish bluish. She's got some glasses, looks a little bit older than you, but that is okay. The guy who snapped this, our yeah. host that we night, see your face used now. an actual film oh. camera. Oh, oh. It was a different oh. world back then. Oh. oh, what's going on? What's going on? This is, this is scary. I don't know what's going on. The, the music amped up. It's becoming a little more... Do I keep moving? Please, God. Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? Oh, this is eerie. I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. Yes, you do. What once gave me so much joy now fills me with unbearable sorrow. I don't like this. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. 
like this. At all. Oh, come on, man. I'm just trying to find my wife. Don't scare me like that. I know that. it's my general state of mind, but I feel even more depressed near this arm now. Guess I can't shake off the memory of my sweet Serena trying on her various garments. Be honest. Does this dress show too much cleavage? I want only one pair of eyes on me. Loyal girl, too. Keep her. How I miss her naked back when she was standing by this armoire. The perfect curve of her neck. Her firm bottom. Don't think Serena would approve of me making an even bigger mess of the clothing here. That's funny. I don't recall seeing this plant before. You serious? Come on! Not that it matters. She probably found this rare specimen during her walks and wanted to keep it. Serious? Does it mean anything that it's next to her Bible? Anyway, it's just some boring plan. read the Bible. Is it possible there were times I was dismissive of her beliefs without even realizing it? Perhaps. I don't think so, but memory can be so deceptive. Yes, it can be at some point in time. Could it hurt me to be a bit more open towards religion? Serena's faith was always a, a rock for her to lean on. And I certainly could use one right now. Why can't you just accept that I want God in my life? Have you any idea how many times he has helped me get through? Of course you wouldn't know. He was there for me all the times you weren't. Oh. No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. Okay, so that eerie, crazy music stopped. Maybe later. There's nothing okay, of interest inside the closet anyway. Okay, but I'm revisiting what I've already searched, and my memory is coming back to me, and it's going to form the story of why she's actually gone and unravel the true mystery. I feel like it is my own doing. Oh, but the game just sent, keeps sending chills down my spine, and it's getting worse. And the further I go on in this game, I'm quite sure it's going to uh, intensify. Let's check this out again, why not? Can we, uh... Proust wrote all his life about the associative power of tastes and smells. He spent his last years in retreat from the world, though, writing in a cork-lined bedroom. I should leave the keys here until she comes back, because I know she will. She always reminded me to take these. I never asked her to, she just did it. I never noticed it before, but there's a tiny crack in it. Hmm. Well, it's a hairline fracture. I still remember when this thing smelled of fresh paint. And now it smells like her perfume. What was that? Oh, come on. Time is just a ticking, huh? How did I miss everything getting dinkier, more worn? It's older. We should have renewed our life somehow, but money was always so tight. Scraping, huh? There's dust on this, too. It's everywhere. After all these years, it permanently... How could I possibly forget the color of her hair like that? Exactly. Even for a moment. That, that, that bashy blonde her. She was my girl with the sun in her hair. What's happened to me? I liked to watch her comb her hair before she came to bed, but that was so long ago. At some point, I just stopped. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket, new enough to still have all its teeth. All right. Is the clock changing? I'm not quite sure. As always, I automatically went to the window side, and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? I don't know, man. I don't kiss and tell. Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be, arms wrapped around me, the warm and passionate touch of her lips. I can't sleep. It feels as if I've been awake for ages. 
Probably have been, buddy. You're deranged. Uh, I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. You're right. Nothing here. Nothing here. Uh, under the Did you take this maybe? out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. Maybe. It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. I remember us washing it properly in the lake many summers ago. Once. Pretty dirty now, huh? I always resisted the temptation to sweep things under there when it was my turn to tidy up. Uh, where do I go? Where do I go? I'm, I'm further un unlocking my own memory. That's crazy. We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. Guns isn't on our mind. It's arena. It's... Let's see, what could possibly be done here? I'm a casual dresser. No need to change clothes. A plant is a plant. Beautiful. I have no need for the words in there. Yeah, you're a cynical bastard, you. Let me just rummage through her belongings one more time. If she goes to the door, I'll just tell her I was worried. Perhaps there was something I missed. I don't know. I don't really got anything yet. I read your diary too. Fuck. Why? I might just as well stay here. Right. Does this picture change? I'm done looking at it. Good. Let's further on this one. Oh, that's creaky as hell. I bet it's gonna be something. Come sit with me. I want to talk. There's something I have to tell you. Oh, it got real. I have been trying, and believe me, I've been trying so hard. I almost have it. What was she trying to tell me? I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. Of course, we made love here, too. There was no place in the cabin we didn't before things deteriorated. Uh -oh. The most comfortable spot in the cabin, well, along with the bed, of course. Does that have anything to do with it? Pictures. I can imagine her cuddling up to me even now, putting her hand under my shirt. Am I gonna keep going? Oh, more books. Someone said, string. work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us. Was it Freud or Marilyn Monroe? Hopefully Freud. The power of perseverance? Did I let my work destroy my love? Writing was so all-consuming for me, yet I made so little headway in all this time. It all seems so meaningless now. Drained of everything that made it worth reading in the first place. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Of course not. Fortifying Most of the books liver. are mine, but all of hers are still here, right, too. No need to read things at the moment. Ugh. Without any activity, the corner feels cold and lifeless. All those moments we sat at this table, laughing, smiling, or simply looking in each other's eyes. Will we have them again someday? Oh, he wants them. Hopefully, buddy. This table has seen many happy times. The meals we shared, or when we just used to stay up late with a bottle of wine and talk. Oh, how we talked. I sure hope she comes back soon. We can sit down and discuss our problems, uh, like we always did. We could always work things out. Always. Love Our is dining always. table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. The dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. And there were many more to come. He's always confident. Our dining table. Quite modest, but if it ain't broke, She looks don't grumpy. Fix it. She's grumpy. She was smiling, now she's grumpy. Oh, that's eerie. It it's different. But that just It can't be. It can't be different. You're right. Whoa. 
the, the picture's not changing. Is the way I'm perceiving the picture changing because of my own memory? What does the picture actually look like to everyone else's eyes? Am I going mad? I'm mad. In the brain, man. Somehow she looks sadder than I remembered. Could I really oh, have been so wrong in. about that night? Maybe. She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this, but for some reason, I just feel numb. Beyond it. She was lying to me and manipulating me all the time. Why did I let her do that? I'm the one who should have been scowling. She played me like a harp and made me look like a complete idiot! The tables have turned? All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Whoa! I torture myself trying to remember. Chew your heart up, spit it out. I'm too upset to even think straight. I see this. I hate her so much. Heart skipped a beat. All of this, these pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. Something just seems different about the atmosphere, and it's definitely the ambience, but just the physical view of it, is it more... Can I go into something I... Oh, oh, I can go in the chest now, because I don't give a damn. I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings and how much of your manipulation. Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. Just when I thought I was a cynical bastard, damn. That's crumpled up, tossed in there. That was very, now very deep. It was me all the time. I lost her. And it's all my fault. Wait, before... It's just a bunch of schmaltzy junk. A shrine to naivety. I don't see anything else of value. You pick something I up. I should just destroy this useless junk. But not even the venom inside me gives me strength. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I sit here. I no longer know what you're thinking. Whoa, with whoa. my parents gone and with your whoa. refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote, when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on, you pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. Damn. Us. I, I no longer know what she just... This where she kept her secrets? I should take a look inside. Where to put it? Where to put what? Why torture myself trying to run? I'm too upset to eat. I hate her. All of this... I couldn't care. Why torture myself trying... 
to ups- I hate all of- I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Where to put it? Where to put what? Sit down, we need to talk. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a- We weren't supposed to fight here. You just don't get it, do you? You never do. I torture myself trying to remember. Uh, I should tear all her filthy, disease-ridden clothes apart and burn them! He's angry. Everything she wore, just to lure me in. Not even these violent impulses give me the strength I need to open the armoire! What is wrong? Stupid feeble-minded woman with her silly menial things. Wow. It was she who didn't deserve me. I wouldn't waste my intellect on this... this sublunary distraction. Maybe I am. She probably cared more for this plant than she cared for me. Perhaps. I'm too upset to even think straight. It's... just a book. It's the Bible. Get hit. I hate her so much. Relax. All the real color faded from it long ago. It must be full of dust mites. I should burn it. I told her the rug was fine work, like I know anything about handicrafts. But it's what the Empress wanted to hear, wasn't it? Yep. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. It's just getting increasingly angry, I can feel it. I... Dearest. How do I say any of this? I like your way with words. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guessed when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. I love you too! Oh, those sweet words, you can do it just like me. Wow, there's a backside of the note I made. I don't know what's inside then... this thing. I just need to set it down somewhere where I can sit down and open it. Oh, we got, we got something? I was wondering what we grabbed. Can we do it on the bed? The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry, even. Why must life always end up so sordid and hateful? I couldn't care less about this damn thing. I'm trying to find somewhere to this sit armchair. this thing down. This is where we had that talk. That damn... I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Will you just listen to me for once? God, you're always... Wait, where are you going? Don't walk away from me. Why torture myself trying to remember? What? Is it staying on the floor now? That's new. I didn't notice it before. I'm too upset to even think straight. That worries me. I tried to be charitable with her, but what did it get me? Honestly, she could rarely carry a tune, so her humming habit got on my nerves. My wife has no indulgence given except what comes to her from heaven. We eat little, we drink less. This earth breeds not our happiness. William Blake. <gasps> oh, can we open it now? Figured we'd have to sit down on the table. What's inside? A uh, ring. Her wedding ring or mine? But what is it doing here? Oh, please, no. You were married? It's hers. I can't believe she would just leave it here. Where the hell is she? No. It can't be true. No. No, I didn't do it. I need to wake up from this nightmare. I agree. I hate her so much. I remember how happy these made her. She smiled. 
That wonderful smile. What is that? Earrings? I must have gifted these to make amends or something. I can't tell exactly I? what that is. Did I ever gift her anything? You were probably a neglectful, deadbeat boyfriend's last husband, and this is exactly what happened, or it's vice versa, but I'm starting to be convinced it was all of you. She loved her trinkets more than she loved me. Right? What you thought. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're Still all lies. Grumpy. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. Since I spent, said something about a nightmare, let's go to bed. I'm not crawling in there. I'm too riled up for that, and it's it's just not dark enough anyway. Then what's in... can I go in here? <gasps> and finally. Oh. Oh, it's dark. It's dark. Oh! You realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, we couldn't help your downfall. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Don't worry. My God. What is this? Whoa. It can't. It isn't. What's going on? How did it happen? I can't remember. I've murdered her? It's already rotten beyond recognition. But how much time has passed? It's dry and withered. Ugh. A body takes at least weeks to... How, how long has it been? Who's talking in the background? I can't even remember how I did it. Uh, Maybe I didn't. Uh, Do I have brain damage? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. What the hell? What the hell? Please, let me wake up. Let it be a dream. In that sleep of death, what dreams may come. I can't bring myself to close my eyes. I know I'll see her. It... What have I done? It's just replaying in my head. Is this... Purgatory? Are you dead too? Job, was it? Why did I not die at birth? For now I would have lain down and been quiet. I would have slept. I would have been at rest. To hell with this book. My own dark world. Barely alive. Is this my eternal punishment? I wonder if this plant is poisonous. With my luck, it would just give me a headache. After the Belladonna. <laughs> better fate for me. I should electrocute myself with that lamp. <laughs> You're a psycho. I don't need to see that... that horror any better. You're right. Keep the lights out. Get away from that place. Uh, what can I do? I remember stumbling on this more than once, but she always insisted it be kept here. She did it on purpose. This rug. I could wrap the body in it. No. I can't. I, I can't even think about this. It's grotesque. Red like blood. Yellow like... dead eyes. I'm just not liking this man. This is getting very, very eerie. I just want to be away from out of here, man. Please. I feel sick. Yeah, Flesh. Think. Temptations. Oh, no. I couldn't. Not after. You're right. I didn't touch her. I could have, but no. I did not. So this is bringing... Where's that magazine at? Nowhere else. I keep dropping it once I find it. Uh, I keep hearing them talking to each other in the, in the background. It's just very... Would death be guaranteed if I... 
I'm too much of a coward to try killing myself with this. No light. Only darkness. The sun is a silent death for some. The clock Dehydration. Stopped moving. Delirium. The clock stopped ticking. Isn't time supposed to heal all wounds? They say so. I've really gone insane this time, haven't I? Yeah, it's not moving. I could swear time is standing still. How long must I suffer? It is standing still. I don't see it moving, buddy. We're, we're suffering. I'm scared. If I smash the window, I could just slit my wrists with the shards. Okay. Bashing my head through might cut a carotid artery. Even quicker than the wrists. Yeah, let's get real crazy. I like it. I can't bear looking at this. All the neglect within. She's not coming back. She never left. I've been running from a lot, but I can't run away from this. Nope. I, I must be in shock. It, it still hasn't sunk in emotionally what I... I... must have done. What else would explain it? Shattering it would get me some sharp shards. But now... I'm so drained. When was the last time she brushed her hair? Did I brush her hair when I... They say hair is just dead cells anyway. The more hair you have, the more strands of dead cells sprouting from your scalp, streaming behind you in your wake. If only I could see her hold this again. But now, this is real. No dream was ever like this. I can't touch it. It was hers. What did I do to my love? It smells sour and musty. Like decay. Of course. Evidence. Shit. Evidence. I can't run from this. Evidence. I didn't deserve her. Whatever happens to me, I will deserve it. Oh, and it became suddenly still again. Don't really like that, I'm scared. What's happening to me? Is this real or some kind of drug-fueled nightmare? Wish I could overdose myself with this. Nah, an easy way out is never the best one. No. Agreed, let's face our... Dearest, and then you toppled us on the snow. Let's not go back to haunting, dainting memories. Does that clock work? Oh, time's still standing still. Oh, I don't want to. Okay. Okay. Getting louder. Oh, shit! Someone's right out the window. Do you realize how stupid this was? We had a plan. I took measures to ensure nothing like this would happen. But no, you couldn't help your damn self. We can't risk moving it now. The bulldozers are coming any minute. Fire will do it. Do you think they will buy it after all this time? It's been months since you... Don't worry. It's all covered. He spent much time here. Fine. Give me the kerosene. What? What? Wait, wait. Oh, shit. We forgot your... Fuck. It was so stupid to leave it. Why did you do that? Can you calm down? I couldn't bear to wear it any longer. It's in a safe place. We'll pick it from the ashes. Let me go! Oh, oh shit! Please! Oh shit, the whole place is burning! It's burning? Oh, what the hell? What just happened? What? I'm 
just anxious to get it off my chest. Think about it for a moment. Serena. That was Serena, ladies and gentlemen. A point and click action adventure, action adventure game. An indie one at that fact. And it was actually produced, it was a collaboration of many fans and developers of action point and click adventure games that actually wanted to keep the genre and to kind of, I don't know, I guess admire it. A lot of people don't really look into point and click adventure games. It's more of an interactive story, nonetheless. L not too much gameplay, but that. Several twists and turns were thrown at us during this game. I can't eat, I'm racking my brain still trying to think exactly what happened. I'm definitely gonna have to rewatch this once or twice to understand the full twist, but you begin to recall memories of her, or are they false memories or true memories? All of a sudden you hate her and then she hates you. It's her fault, then it's your fault, and then you begin resurrecting these memories. There's a there's a body in her damn dresser like that is a pro that is a problem, man. And if you don't remember that, you'd probably go, you should probably have taken those pills, matter of fact. No wonder she was bothering you about it. Oh, and I can't even get into the description about the shadows and the burning of the house with you still inside of it, wanting to get out. That was not a nightmare, mate. Matter of fact, his true life and what really happened may have been a nightmare, but how, and that's just how he lived it, and this is how we're gonna have to perceive it and what really happened, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what you're gonna take away with this, but this game was definitely a must. I hope uh, those of you who did sit down and take the time to to watch this, I hope you guys did feel something from the story. I hope you guys did interact it and try to put yourself in his shoes and just uh, look at the story through your eyes and be your own investigator and and your own relationship. And it's it it makes you think a lot. It makes you think a lot. And what kind of horrible man you are, or horrible woman she may be, it's just too mind-boggling and this I must say though, for a free game on Steam, I had to play it, couldn't pass it up. I thought it'd be a great one. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed the long play and got a little bit of taste of that kind of style and genre of video games, ladies and gentlemen. Not too many of those made nowadays. This one was released January, I believe, of 2014. So now that I've seen it was free on Steam, I'm not quite sure how long it was. I had to pick it up. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned. There will be plenty more Playboy coming right your way, ladies and gentlemen.